Welcome back to World in Days. Today, we're taking you on a mesmerizing journey to the heart of Asia, a city where the past meets the future, where traditions intertwine with modernity, and where every street corner tells a story. This is Singapore, the Lion City. From its humble beginnings as a fishing village to its rise as a global metropolis, Singapore is a testament to human ambition and vision. As we navigate its bustling streets, serene gardens, and vibrant neighborhoods, you'll discover a city that's as diverse as it is dynamic. So, buckle up, dear travelers, as World in Days unveils the magic of Singapore. On day one, we'll dive into Singapore's colonial heritage, marvel at Marina Bay's modernity, and immerse ourselves in the natural wonder of gardens by the bay. As we stroll through the city's historic streets, our first stop is Raffles Hotel, an iconic symbol of Singapore's colonial past. Raffles Hotel stands as a tribute to British influence. Named after Sir Stamford Raffles, its elegant architecture and storied history make it a must-visit. Moving on from this colonial marvel, we come across St. Andrew's Cathedral. This neo-Gothic masterpiece is a testament to Singapore's British colonial era. Its stunning architecture and serene ambience provide a glimpse into the city's religious history. As the morning hustle begins to simmer down, it's time for a culinary interlude. Relish authentic piranha can dishes like beef rendang and laksa at National Kitchen by Violet Hoon in the National Gallery. With our palates delighted, we set forth to explore more, leading us to the Fullerton Hotel. Originally the General Post Office, this neoclassical gem has seen Singapore's transformation. Its magnificence and historical significance make it a landmark of pride. As the sun moves across the sky, we find ourselves at Gardens by the Bay, a horticultural masterpiece in the heart of the city. Gardens by the Bay spans over 101 hectares and is home to over a quarter of a million rare plants. The main attractions here are the Flower Dome and Cloud Forest, the Flower Dome is the world's largest glass greenhouse, showcasing plants from five continents. The Cloud Forest, on the other hand, houses the world's tallest indoor waterfall and presents plant life from tropical highlands up to 2,000 meters above sea level. Not to be missed is the East Bay Garden which offers a tranquil escape with its themed gardens and serene landscapes. It's a perfect spot for those seeking a quiet moment in the middle of the city's hustle and bustle. As evening approaches, we head to one of the world's most iconic casinos, Marina Bay Sands Casino. Whether you're feeling lucky or just want to soak in the lavish ambience, the Marina Bay Sands Casino offers a world-class gaming experience amidst its glittering interiors. But the magic doesn't end as the sun sets. As night falls, the Super Tree Grove comes alive with a mesmerizing garden rhapsody light and sound show, a nightly spectacle that illuminates the sky with a dazzling display of colors. As the night approaches and it's dinner time, experience authentic Indian flavors at Komala Vilas in Little India. As we continue our journey, on day two, we'll experience the Chinese legacy of Singapore and the historic essence of Tanjong Paga. Our day starts with a burst of color at Sri Mary Amman Temple, a symbol of Indian influence in Chinatown. This temple is Singapore's oldest Hindu sanctuary. Its vibrant architecture and spiritual aura offer a unique cultural experience. 
a short walk away from Sri Mariamman Temple, we discover Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. This majestic temple, housing a relic of Buddha, is a spiritual and architectural marvel. Its intricate design and religious significance make it a focal point in Chinatown. When it's time for lunch, experience the iconic Hainani's Chicken Rice at Chon Chon Hainani's Chicken Rice in Maxwell Food Center. After lunch, our next stop would be Thian Hock King Temple, a tribute to the goddess of the sea. This temple reflects Singapore's maritime heritage. Its intricate carvings and historical significance are awe-inspiring. As the day progresses, we find ourselves at Tanjong Paga Railway Station, a symbol of Singapore's trade legacy. This former railway station stands as a reminder of the city's deep-rooted connections with the Malay Peninsula. We will end our day with culinary delight, savor traditional Cantonese dishes at Yanting in St. Regis, Singapore, located near Tanjong Paga. On day three, we'll immerse ourselves in the Malay and Indian heartbeats of Singapore. Our third day exploration begins at Sultan Mosque, the epicenter of Muslim culture in Singapore. This grand mosque stands tall with its golden domes and rich history, reflecting the city's Islamic heritage. Delving deeper into the Malay culture, we arrive at Malay Heritage Center, a deep dive into the traditions and history of the Malay community in Singapore. This center offers a comprehensive look into the Malay cultural tapestry. For lunch, Relish the flavoursome murtabak at Sam Zam near Sultan Mosque. After lunch, we continue our exploration in Little India Arcade. A sensory delight, this bustling market is a riot of colours, sounds and scents. It encapsulates the vibrancy and spirit of the Indian community in Singapore. As evening approaches, we head to Mustafa Centre, a 24-hour shopping haven, this mall showcases the commercial prowess and diverse offerings of Singapore's Indian community. From electronics to textiles, and from jewellery to groceries, Mustafa Centre is a one-stop shop for all your needs. Transitioning from the cultural richness of Little India, we find ourselves in Singapore's shopping mecca often referred to as the shopping paradise in the heart of the city. Orchard Street boasts a staggering array of shopping malls, with over 20 malls, ranging from the luxurious Iron Orchard to the more affordable Lucky Plaza. There's something for every shopper. Whether you're looking for high-end brands, unique boutiques, or even just window shopping, Orchard Street is the place to be. After a long and exciting day, for dinner, experience a fusion of flavors at Wild Rocket located near Orchard, offering a modern twist on traditional Singaporean dishes. On our final day, we'll explore the historical layers of Singapore's favorite island getaway. Our day starts at Fort Siloso. Dive into Singapore's wartime history at its only preserved coastal fort. Interactive exhibits and well-preserved artifacts offer insights into the city's World War II era. Moving on, we encounter Sentosa Malayan. This majestic statue, larger than its city counterpart, symbolizes Singapore's origins a blend of myth and history. It stands as a sentinel of Singapore's rich past. When it's time for lunch, the island breeze calls for a midday treat. Enjoy a variety of Asian cuisines at the Knolls at Capella Singapore on Sentosa Island. With renewed energy, our adventure continues at Palawan Beach, 
Palawan Beach is a tranquil retreat with a twist of history. Its unique bridge leads to the southernmost point of continental Asia, offering both relaxation and exploration. As the sun begins to set, we would visit Tiger Sky Tower, ascend this observation tower for panoramic views of Sentosa and beyond. It's a blend of leisure and history, offering a unique perspective of the island. As our journey nears its end, enjoy the final culinary experience at Keyside Fish Bar and Bistro. Indulge in a seafood feast here with picturesque waterfront views. And just like that, our journey through the vibrant Singapore comes to an end. From its towering skyscrapers to its historic alleyways, the Lion City has shed its heart and soul with us. Before you dive into this vibrant metropolis, here are some essential travel tips to make your journey smooth and unforgettable. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or it's your first time in the Lion City, these pointers will ensure you experience Singapore to its fullest. Begin your Singapore adventure right at the airport. Changi Airport is an attraction in itself. Don't miss the jewel Changi, home to the world's tallest indoor waterfall, the Rain Vortex. It's a mesmerizing sight, especially during its light and sound show in the evening. Allocate some extra time either upon arrival or before departure to explore this architectural marvel. Singapore's public transport system is efficient and extensive. The mass rapid transit is the quickest way to commute around the city. Remember to purchase an EasyLink card or a Singapore tourist pass for unlimited rides. Singapore has a tropical climate so it's warm and humid throughout the year. Lightweight, breathable clothing is advisable. Always carry an umbrella or raincoat as rain showers can be sudden. Tipping is not a common practice. Service charge is already included in your bill in most restaurants and hotels. Singapore is known for its strict laws. Familiarize yourself with local regulations such as the ban on chewing gum sales and the strict penalties for littering. Always be respectful of local customs and traditions. When visiting religious sites, dress modestly and follow the guidelines. Singapore is culturally diverse, and there are several festivals celebrated throughout the year. Visiting during Chinese New Year, usually in January or February, the Epa Volley, usually in October or November, or Hori Raya can provide a unique cultural experience. While festive seasons can be culturally enriching, they can also mean larger crowds and sometimes higher prices, especially for accommodations. It's advisable to book in advance if you plan to visit during these times. The best time to visit Singapore largely depends on your preferences, as the sitter state experiences a tropical rainforest climate with consistent temperatures and regular rainfall throughout the year. However, there are certain periods that might be more favorable for tourists. February to April. These are the months between the winter and summer in Singapore and are considered the most comfortable in terms of temperature and humidity. This period is relatively drier and is considered the best time for sightseeing and outdoor activities. July to September. This period coincides with the Great Singapore Sale and the Singapore Food Festival. If you're a shopaholic or a foodie, this is the ideal time to visit. The weather is also relatively pleasant, although occasional rain showers can be expected. In conclusion, while there's no definitive best time to visit Singapore due to its consistent climate, the months from February to April are often recommended for the most comfortable weather conditions. However, your interests, such as shopping, food, or experiencing cultural festivals, 
can also influence the best time for your visit. On Wolden Days, we believe every destination has its unique tales. Before we sign off, if you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share with your fellow travelers, and hit that subscribe button for more adventures around the globe. Click on the bell icon to stay notified. Until our next adventure, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and remember the world is waiting. Farewell from Singapore and see you soon on World in Days.